ിൽ Oh, okay so uh, sir am i better now no are you using some earphones and all that oh uh, yes i was using uh, one earlier now i am in better have you removed it yes sir something wrong with you and <laughs> or your sound system it's not coming properly did you use this only for your gd Yes, sir. The same thing. Acha. What was the GD topic given to you? Uh, so the gender disparity, the pay uh, that uh, the service sectors normally have good gender equality in payment, but the sports and film industries don't have that. So, what is your opinion on that? That is my topic. Very good, very good. Now speak. This is what you can give. Let us take it. Now you answer the question. Uh, so actually even in your mock gds i was using the same thing only and i think it was audible then i don't know what happened now now the voice is very low not that it is not there it is heard low if we, when i play when you watch it in video you will know doesn't matter okay, so. yeah now okay, so. um uh, please continue with the same question otherwise i'll ask some other question Okay, so I am Hiran. I come from Tiruvannamalai, Kerala. I completed my bachelor's in uh, English language and literature from Maravennis College. I I uh, did my PG in political science in world and Indian politics uh, from Indira Gandhi National Open University. I have been preparing for community exams for the past two three years. Uh, my family consists of my father, my mother. I have a younger brother, and. Uh, um, i i follow i know i enjoy and follow observing political political situations in our country i follow sports so these are my hobbies sir so that is yeah. what i have to say about myself you studied english literature why any anybody in your family is interested in english literature uh, so even in school i used to enjoy the subject as such because it it gave you the scope of uh, giving out whatever you had in mind it was an open ended topic so that allowed me to be better in that field so i thought i'll just continue in my uh, graduation as well in graduation what are the um, books you studied in terms of plays or uh, novels what are the books that were prescribed for you so i had julius caesar uh, oh. basically my course is was on uh, english language and literature it was focused more on the language part of the thing and how it evolved the history of english language literature the british or that was the main focus of my uh, course as such so drama and all the things were not that uh, important for my uh, field it was important but that was not the focus who are the famous english writers living in our country uh so to ad- to address the millennial concept i would have to go for chetan bhagat or rabindra singh but we have had legends earlier including rabindranath tagore no, but so, i am talking about current date so focus on contemporary ones yeah so i don't know if we can call him uh, indian anymore he is salman rushdi Salman Rushdie, Salman Rushdie. Uh, he has a uh, Indian connect. Uh, then we Connecti- have connectivity. Point. Connectivity, true. But uh, why should we talk about him? He is not in any way so close to us. Okay, so we have Arundhati Roy. Hmm. Uh, Vikram Seth is a good writer, I think. Uh, I have mm. not read much about his work. Mm. Amitabh Ghosh. Amitabh mm-hmm. Tripathi, mm-hmm. and uh, I would I would go wrong if I don't mention my member of parliament, Sachin Tharoor. Mm. 
Good, that is correct. So now I want you to come out with an advertisement for Federal Bank. So advertisement outside Kerala or within or for the whole process? For the entire country as a whole, please give me an advertisement about Federal Bank. Um, I don't know which one is there in your mind. Are you going to propagate deposits or advances? Or what is it? I don't know. Or generally as a bank. Now, please tell me what are the words you will use that in the advertisement. So as please, uh, mentioned please speak, by our prime. Please tell advertisement itself. Yes, sir. My focus would be the fourth fulcrum that the government is focusing on right now. That is farmers, youth, MSMEs, and uh, the middle class. So mm -hmm. these four points will uh, always be highlighted in my advertisement. Like mm -hmm. to do the particular things for them, the opportunities that the financial inclusion will give them. So that will be my priority. No, but no, make out an advertisement and speak to me. Oh, so uh, I should talk to you as a customer. Like you are a customer, I should talk to you. Not customer, as a written text. Generalized pattern. A written text. So you want a tagline. Yeah, I don't know. No, written some advertisement from bank with us. Federal Bank, Kerala's Bank, something like that. You, I want you to speak in your own way and tell okay, me I got your point. because Sir, you are I a literature it. student. Okay, okay, I got your points. So as we are, uh, we are coming from Kerala. It's called Gods on Country. So everyone are God's children. So that way we can market in such a way that. God's own countries, God's own bank. I don't know if it is good, but that is what it's comes okay, to my mind. Okay. So don't suspect your uh, burnings. You be confident okay. about whatever you are speaking. It's okay, fine only. Tell. No, so that, that, was not, that was my point. God's own countries, God's own bank. Mm -hmm. Achha, you want to tell federal bank as God, no, sir, God's, but the problem God's is own bank is... in God's own country. Okay, continue. Next. Doesn't matter. I wish you should not get such tough questions there where you will, you are struggling to come out with um, sentences. No, sir, but the I problem is when such kind of things come up very uh, promptly, I tend to think of people who get excluded in such a campaign. Like if I say God's own bank, there may be people who don't believe in God. No. So how can what I is get wrong? them into the What mind? is wrong about it? Why are you bothered about it? You concentrate on what you are concerned with. Uh, Okay, yeah, I got there it. is no point in worrying about your neighbor unless yeah. you really know that he is starving and you feel like helping. There is See, nowadays, um, if you are living in flat, you don't know who is living in the next flat also. Yes, sir. Especially in metro cities. Metro cities, yeah. Rivandrum, you are staying in a flat or an independent house? Independent house, sir. Achha. Good. Do you have a garden and all that? Yes, sir. Not a very big one. I have. Achha. But uh, unlike other normal Kerala houses, you have a pond and all that, you know, some... No, no. no. That, some... Is, uh, that is old, old contemporary style. So like uh, old <laughs> traditional style. We don't have that anymore, especially in cities. You may find cities, it in the uh, outskirts, villages. you may find it. Yeah, yeah and the outs no, not exact in Kerala, you, you won't find that uh, rural urban divide that much. No, so you can't. Yeah. Now tell me, why did you come to political science? So actually, after my graduation, I was uh, going for civil service preparation. Hmm. So in that uh, field, my optional subject was political science because I was interested in studying the different ideologies associated, like why such a leader or such situations happen. And what is history telling us? So I was interested in the field. So I chose uh, political science as my optional subject. So uh, after two, three months of preparation, I came to know that uh, pursuing a post, especially post graduation in the same subject will further help me gain more uh, topic collection. And how many marks did you score in the M M M I M A political science or MSc political science? What is it called? It's MA, sir, Master of Arts. Uh -huh. Or, or, or many, so I got what is it? Very good. That's really nice. Can you tell me something about Second World War? 
So Second World War basically lasted between 1939 to 1945. It, uh, it was, it was something that gave birth to a League of Nations, like the after effects of it gave birth to League of Nations, which is now the United Nations now. So it, uh, it completely changed the entire course of happenings all around the world. As in, there were allied powers and the Axis powers. So the people who won the war became like were instrumental in shaping the geopolitics later on, especially the rise of the US. Oh. And the people who lost out was was completely wiped out, especially. And I I I personally feel and I have read about in so many places that the World War and the happenings later was a result was the main reason why the Britishers had to leave our country at the end of the day because they were exhausted, their finances were blown out. Mm. So I feel that there are so many different uh, takes to it, sir. Very good. Now, what are what are bank deposits? The bank deposits are basically instruments that allow people to invest their money in, in banks and earn income from it. Mm. Yeah. Now, uh, which bank are you having account? Sir, I have an SBI. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good. What is the difference between SBI and Federal Bank? Sir, SBI is a public sector bank that the basic difference is between a government job and a private job. Sir. That's the difference. Federal Bank is a private bank. Mm. And yeah. uh, uh, SBI has the it's looked like it's looked like as if it is backed entirely by the government, and private sector banks are like privately owned, but everything comes under RBI at the end of the day. But still, what are the risks you are expecting in a bank job? The risks in a bank job depends on what kind of bank you are working. In. Especially today, all banks are business oriented. At the end of the day, you have to make profit. So, uh, the risk I may face is. Uh, what if I'm not able to contribute as much as the bank demands? I mean, the bank, especially the bank is, uh, every bank aspires to be, especially federal bank is aspiring to grow at a fast rate nowadays. So uh, I am very confident that I will be able to contribute to whatever the bank demands. But uh, as a personal trip, I, I don't, I don't have that kind of worries as of now, but actually. What do you think will be your hours of work in the bank? From what time to what time you will be required to work in the bank as probationary officer? So personally, having relatives in different banks working, I know that their uh, their working hours are not fixed. They have to really work up even at late hours in the day. Coming early and going late is a norm in bank jobs. Mm -hmm. Are you I ready for that? Uh, Yes, sir. I I do. I wouldn't have applied if I was not. Is Kerala favorable for banking industry? Yes, sir. Kerala is basically a consumer state, so it it is. Uh, and I don't. And people are Kerala is not a poor state as such. Uh, we have a lot of money out, coming from outside as well. So I think Kerala has the potential for banking growth and good results for banks. Kerala is known for trade unionism. Yes, sir. In the yes, recent sir, but... past, in the recent past, yesterday, day before yesterday, and all, when you have been going through the streets of uh, Trivandrum, did you notice some demonstrations, strikes, and all that? So actually, uh... Things have become a lot better now, especially the main reason behind this, it is the people who regularly hold these strikes are in the government now. So uh, recently in the last, um, they have been in the government for the last eight years. So things have not been that blown out of proportion any, in a time, any time. Uh, uh, so, so you mean to say that communists are responsible for that? Yes, sir, they are. Yes, sir, they are uh, they are the strongest unions in all sectors and they, they, they can mobilize people very fast compared to any other union. So I feel, uh, especially when their governments are in power, they can't afford to hold big strikes and put their government under pressure. Good. 
Tell me any recent news you have read. Uh, sir, today it would be a huge injustice if I would not mention the passing away of our uh, uh, industrialist who is admired by people. It's normally in India or especially in Kerala, very rich people are considered exploitative and such bad people. But Dedan Tata is another uh, phenomenon altogether. So I wouldn't be able to pass on without mentioning his demise. Uh, Another topic I would say is uh, the Haryana elections that the results came in two days, Harman and also Jammu and Kashmir. So these two are uh, things that can change the political landscape. So these two are the very important news that I, and especially I, yesterday I read in a, I don't know if it came in the newspaper, I didn't see in the newspaper, but I read that uh, Iran is suspected of testing a nuclear weapon. Oh, that's a good. Anyhow, thank you so much. Best wishes. Thank you, sir. So, uh, uh, do yeah. you, uh, can you suggest any improvements as such? No, no, but uh, actually, because your subjects were odd, I was going into those areas. I wish you should get some questions like that in your real interview also. But um, regarding banking, I have not gone much, much into it. I think you would have prepared. No problem. But you are good in English. You are able to communicate well. That should help you get the job because they like good communication skill and confidence. 